You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Huh? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots. We know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. You're a dead man! That's your own fucking business! For you. You want to see competition in the marketplace? You assholes! Stop him in his fucking tracks! Fuck you! How about a merger, you pricks? Take cover! I didn't think you'd be over Kill all of us! Assholes. Here we go. Here. You're not even hidden. 
Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so, so. Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? <laughs> Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamine. Trevor! Woo-hoo! Again! Again! And fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, uh, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost will descend on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to...
feel bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Better. I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean any of my back, T. Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm gonna blow right in and turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. The quick game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. God, weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. Oh, get you get, get you get. So, get you throw Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So... This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly 10 years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt despair. And just then, just, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in. Ow! And they fell in lust. 
and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. You don't turn here. Now keep going. I turn right here. Go straight on here. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you wait! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. 